Hi gang, Ron 2 here in the Little Weird Shop. I'm sorry, Ron 1. My son's Ron 2 here in the Little Weird Shop today. Gonna do a little review on my go bag. Uh, we did one, I did one earlier on my truck bag. Kind of my emergency one day overnight bag in my truck. We'll put the link probably up here somewhere. But this is my grab bag. Like if I know there's a problem, I'm at home, I need to get out and live for a couple days so it's a Condor Urban Go Bag in uh, Digicam and uh, I've had this bag about uh, five or six years so it's one of those bags because it's a go bag I don't use it much and I like to go through all my bags once a year because during the year you know I steal stuff out of them to go on a backpack or this and that I try to have enough stuff to keep every bag full but you never know. So anyway, I like to go through them and check them. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's kind of go through this thing and check out what's in here. So on these straps, this is like a basic normal backpack. Uh, right away on this strap, I've got a, a Leatherman uh, Wave on there. So always come in handy. And whenever I have, I, I always wear a uh, tactical bracelet here. Whenever I have extra ones, I put them on my bags. They make for good quick clicking on of various things. Uh, on the exterior here, I also have Arizona flag patch. You can put whatever patch you want on there. Down here, I have, and I don't think I've only used this once, Cold Steel's uh, Leatherman. I say I don't use this bag much. This is just my grab bag for emergencies. And what else on the outside? You can see this bag. It's got the loops down here for hooking other things, a sleeping bag or something. And um, over here with one of these uh, bracelets again, I've got my uh, spork. Spork, fork, spork, fork. Right here. Nice aluminum, got a little wrench there, and a little wedge prying open cans, whatever, and a can opener there on it, and bottle opener there. So a nice little spork thingy there. That is a uh, Eaton Tool XL CRKT. The knife company makes that. On these outdoor pouches out here, I've got a ooh, big, big old bottle of water there. And on this side, I have just an empty, uh, what are they, a Nalgene bottle. You know I'm going to knock those down here real soon. And also on the outside here, I have a very small bag that I've just strapped on here and put a medic pouch on it. I like to, any of my medical bags, I like to kind of try to get a medic, uh, you know, emergency Red Cross patch on there. That way, if you're hurt or somebody else is going to your bag and looking for emergency medical stuff, they just got to look for this and they'll know what's in that bag. But this bag, I won't go through this much right now, but I can tell it's not very well equipped. Uh, one of these days, I'll go through all my different medical bags, but I basically got just gauzes, bandages, and that in there. So I need to supply that up a little better. And on the outside, I've got this uh, cylinder here for carrying extra, and it's full, extra uh, lighter fluid. They have a little rubber seal on them, so it won't evaporate. And that thing's probably been on there four years, and it's still full of uh, lighter fluid, and it's that's from Zippo. Uh, all my bags, I try to put a temperature gauge and. They have a little cheapy compass on them, but I mainly do it for the temperature gauge. Right now in here in the shop, it's almost 80 degrees. I got the pellet stove going over there. I'm getting a little warm. I'd have to start stripping some clothes off, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't do it, old man. And right here, we'll start the smallest pouch first. There's all kinds of crap stashed in here. We're going to try to go kind of fast. There's some wet one wipes. 
Here's a bag with some uh, paracord and uh, Gorilla Tape wrapped around a credit card. And another little thing and a little leather cord in there. Always can come in handy. Here's one of those uh, <coughs> waterproof writing pad and pencil. If that gets wet, you can still write on it. Leave a note, emergency note or something. And here we've got some Dr. Numb Cream. Some lidocaine cream. I could use that. I'm going to leave that out. So, came across that and I thought that might be handy for cuts and things. Kind of numb them up. It's kind of something different in a bag there. I don't think I have that in any of my other bags. This thing in here has got a hell of a lot of other little pockets. A zippered one there, one there, one for like pencils. Uh, got some REM oil wipes if you need to wipe a knife down or something or gun. And for a little rust prevention. Uh, some fire cubes. These are Bluette brand. And ooh, all kinds of stuff in here. We got some waterproof matches. That over here with the fire stuff. Another wet fire cube. And another wet fire cube. Uh, one of those uh, kind of Sweat towels. Uh, you wipe your sweat and it uh, dries up real quick in there. And of course, toilet paper. And uh, I think that's it in that bag. So, moving on here. Oh, I don't think I did this little one. See, almost knocked it off. There's a little one up here behind this morale patch little small one. Here we've got a match container with, uh, oh, this has got, uh, this is one of those waterproof containers. This has got those little pellets in it that you get them wet and it turns into a nice good sized towel, which I talked about in my other truck bag review, how great those come in handy for cleaning, wiping things, and, <laughs> you know, wiping things, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Uh, we've got a microfiber cloth for cleaning your glasses. We've got a signaling mirror, uh, ult ultimate survival signal mirror. This bag's pretty loaded. Here's a few more band-aids that should, waterproof band-aids, should be in this bag here. Uh, here's a lighter my brother got me. Let's see if it even works. I got a feeling this isn't going to work. It's been in here a long time. That's why I like to go through these bags. You can see what's not working, what is working. That should sit. Oh, there it goes. I don't know if you can see that nice little blue flame shooting out there. It is low on fluid. It's got a little glass there, so I might need to check that out. Fill it up. Where was I? Up here. Uh, extra AA batteries flashlight, rechargeables. Uh, this is a striker. This, if I remember right, this isn't actually, yeah, it is a lighter. Nice orange in case you drop it, but of course anything that takes lighter fluid, they dry up, so I'm going to have to refill this. And that's one reason I carried that on the outside here, this thing with the uh, lighter fluid, so if I was out I could refill that and get that to work. So that's all up here in that little bag. We went through that one. So now, here's another smaller one on this lower portion down here. Woo! Got my um, fire starter here. And also, we'll put a link up above here somewhere to a little video where about five different unique fire starters that I made here in a little weird shop. So. That's one of them, spalted maple handle. It's got uh, weatherproof matches in the little compartment there with the O-ring to seal it. Pretty handy. Uh, I've got a uh, Phoenix LD20 flashlight. Takes two of these batteries. And, uh, and a Phoenix headband for it. This comes in real handy. I've used that quite a few times. This right here is a 
single eye little uh, like binocular, mon mononocular. Uh, look through it, and uh, whoop, it's got uh, ten times magnification. So nice, small, comes in handy. Little uh, like monocular, one-eyed binocular. Some WD-40, which comes in handy chopping wood and sawing wood. Although I don't think I have a saw on this bag. But obviously this knife, you could do a little chopping and some splitting. There's a sharpener for knives, right there. Got the little carbine ceramic goodies you draw the knife through. Uh, there's quite a bit in this bag. This is my pill box for my prescriptions and aspirin and whatnot. You know, I'm an old guy, I gotta take pills, you know what I mean? A hand sanitizer, which can also be used as fire starter help. And a, a straw. Plastic straw there. If you want to get down and suck water out of a creek or something a little easier. And I think that's it on the outside. So now we can go into the large compartment, which opens up here. So get that opened up, and here we have tube tent, plastic tube tent. Put a string through it, string it up between two trees, and you've got a little tent protection from rain. Got the MSR, a uh, little rocket stove here. Hopefully, I got some gas in here for this thing somewhere. So. Uh, Oh yeah, and the can, this screws on the can, that makes the base for it. And here is a coffee cup, or just heat up a small bit of water on this stove, you could use that. Here we got uh, sugar, uh, sweet and low, honey crystals, coffee bags, a couple tea bags in there. A wooden spoon. Here is a pretty nice pot, which there's my gas in there if it'll come out of there for the stove. It's, it's there it is. Where did it come out? Yeah, there it is. So there's the uh, gas can for the stove here. Who's on there? Fit in this uh, nice little kettle. Uh, it's got a little spout. Pour the hot water out. There's the lid. That's pretty nice. And a little bent up <laughs> dish to eat out of. And a little scooper here. It's good, like you need to dig a hole for poop or scoop out a little hole, put the fire in, different things like that. It's plastic. Fisker brand. Here's some more uh, coffee and sugar. Probably a little overboard on that. Here's some uh, Vaseline soaked cotton for starting fire. And we've got a beef stew, Mountain House beef stew meal there. Probably need to put, since I kind of consider this a two night bag, probably need one more meal in there. Uh, got a little more going on here. Got an emergency uh, space blanket there. Just keep your heat in, wrap up in that. Here we've got some uh, rubber gloves, paper towel, and uh, another uh, microfiber cloth. And I think that might be everything in here. So, from what I can see, what I probably need to add or refresh is the gas in this lighter. Uh, fill up my other Bic lighter here. 
and probably make sure this uh, lighter fluid thing is topped off it, from shaking and it sounds pretty full yet. Uh, my striker, I would use this knife. This should uh, still got a lot of the... There we go. Set my shop on fire here. So that could light fire with that. I had the waterproof matches here. A couple lighters. So we're all good there. Got water. So I'll probably add some food and just check the fluids and everything and I'm good to go. And there's the uh, empty bag. And this bag's pretty good. I like it. I think I want to put a piece of plastic in the back of this main compartment to stiffen it up so it stands up a little better. But these are still available. I've had this, I don't know, five to seven, eight years. Again, it's a Condor Urban Go Bag and Multicam. So that's it. So after doing the truck bag, now this go bag, got one more bag coming up, which is my backpack or three to four day bag. We'll go throw it next in a future video, but if you have any questions, let me know or suggestions. And uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for coming along. Catch you guys later.